Hey YouTube, this is Southern Purple One and here's some news that you should know. But first, uh, my new book is out. Um, it is called United We Stand. And basically it is a book how to connect and build safe relationships uh, with emergency preparedness minded individuals. And it also talks about uh, building an emergency preparedness group um, and keeping safe from unwanted attention and also skills that a reliable group should have and questions you should ask potential members and any red flags you should be looking for. So, shameless plug, reason I'm doing books, my days on YouTube are numbered. Um, as I speak more and more of the truth, um, I don't believe my channel will be around um, and one day they will shut me down. So books will let me still have a way to communicate with people. Um, so there you go. I'll put a link so you can see and check it out. Let's get right into the news. First of all, exactly in the last 12 hours, we have almost hit 1 billion additional on the US debt. A report from safehome.org indicates there were 17.4 million guns sold in the US during 2022. And approximately for 2023, they're estimating 1.4 additional firearms each month being sold. There was a new survey put out, and it was AmericansFirstReports.com said the average America has over $54,000 worth of debt. Uh, and lots of people would love to get rid of this debt. But according to the survey conducted by the marketing research group OnePoll, on behalf of debt resolution firm Beyond Finance, the survey found that the average poll taker has about $54,767 worth of debt, with more than half, 56%, saying they owe more due to the need uh, to pay for necessities rather than due to unnecessary purchases. And as we're going into this recession, more and more people will be relying on their credit cards. I'm talking to people every day uh, that have to rely on the credit cards to pay for food, medical bills, or when their car breaks. This massive debt is preventing Americans from making significant life changes. 33% says it prevented them from buying or putting down money on a mortgage for a home. 30% said it prevented them from buying a car. 24% said it prevented them from setting up a proper savings plan for the future of their children. Debt can sometimes deter people's short and long-term goals for themselves and their family. Uh, learning to manage it effectively can be life-changing, but 49% admit to feeling anxious about their debt, which makes it a challenge to focus on finding solutions. The biggest hurdles uh, would be credit card debt of 57%, mortgages 30%, auto loans 30%, and medical debt at 28%. Many of the respondents said some of the debt was worth, uh, worth it to a cure. Um, as I talk to more and more people, uh, more and more people are definitely being stretched financially. So I don't have an easy solution for you, um, but make sure it is a necessity before you put that additional purchase on your credit card. Because if you can't afford it now, you definitely can't afford it with some people are paying 20% interest on their credit cards. The Teamsters warned that there might be a UPS, the United Parcel Service Strike, and it could come as early as Friday, uh, that is today, uh, if they do not get to the uh, bargaining table and get things settled. Uh, the union represents hundreds of thousands of UPS drivers, uh, and they are walking away from the national bargaining table. So hopefully today they can at least get back to the table and not have a strike. UPS is the second largest ground carrier of packages in the United States, only behind the United States Postal Service. The company delivers some 20 million packages per day. So a protracted long strike could be devastating for industry and for workers and for consumers that rely on that brown truck delivering packages every day to them. As you know, the military is having a difficult time recruiting uh, new members. And this is an article from the Wall Street Journal it says the children of military families make up the majorities of new recruits in the U.S. military. That pipeline is now under threat, which is bad for the Pentagon's already acute recruitment program, as well as Americans' military readiness. Influencers are not letting them go into the military. And that would probably be mostly family members. Um, 
there was a big, huge patriotic boost to recruiting following 9-11. And I saw that. I was in before 9-11, but I saw that. Um, and we've endured 20-plus years of war in Iraq and Afghanistan. Uh, and if you look at that, we've had no decipher victory. We've had scandals. We've had shoddy military housing, bad health care, poor pay for lower ranks that forced many military families to turn to food stamps. And definitely have a rising case of the post-traumatic stress disorder and suicide is off the charts. So the military will have to fix that problem, but I will tell them I think a lot of it is because they have gone woke and a lot of people that join the military are more right-winging, right-leaning people. Um, and when they have to introduce woke into their everyday life on military post, a lot of guys are getting out and not going back. This is a satellite communication system serving the Russian military, was knocked offline by cyber attack late Wednesday and remained mostly down on Thursday. Um, this was a satellite system and I guess they attacked it um, and introduced some malware or malicious software into the satellite terminal. Uh, so this is a continuous thing. Re Ukrainians and Russians are both attacking any time where they can get into any computer system. Before the Ukraine war, uh, hacking Russia was really off limits and it wasn't done a lot. If you've been following what's happening in France, uh, protesting, I think this is the third day. When I put this article down this morning, there were 600 people uh, were arrested um, and a lot injured. That number is going up. The last time I checked, it was up a lot. So, uh, continuing strife. It was started when a young man was shot during a traffic stop. He was, re was resisting arrest. Um, so, France is definitely burning and it is spreading. Uh, most of these riots are being led by the left or migrants that have recently come into the country. If you saw the comment made by Erica Marsh, and this was on her Twitter account, uh, she identifies as a proud Democrat, former field organizer uh, to President Biden. This is what she said. And this is related to the Supreme Court ruling about affirmative actions for colleges getting enrolled. Today's Supreme Court decision is a direct attack on black people. No black people will be able to succeed in a merit-based system which is exactly why affirmative action-based programs were needed. Today's decision is a travesty. So basically what she just did was slam every black person that got into college, uh, that did great in high school and got accepted by their merit. If I did that or a elderly white man would have done this, people would say that they're a racist saying black people can't succeed. She has later come back in trying to fix this tweet, uh, but I see this as a direct attack against anyone uh, that was successful in high school and went to college, and if they were black or Hispanic, uh, please judge people individually. Millions of young Americans will face the end of the student loan moratorium this summer, and this is from Zero Hedge. Um, also, the Supreme Court ruled that President Biden did not have the authority to suspend, I think it was up to $400 billion in loans. So it looks like this has definitely been decided. Uh, he did not have the authority to do that. Um, this was a six to three decision by the Supreme Court. The trucking company called Yellow Corp. Um, they deliver packages and not for full truck. So if you have something to deliver, but you don't need a full truck. And they are the third largest carrier. Um, they just filed 137 million lawsuits against the Teamsters using it on Tuesday. Um, so hopefully they can figure this out. Uh, they did ask for health and welfare and pension funds to delay contribution payments because they are running out of money. So hopefully they can get uh, uh, feasible and get their finances better um, because this would be catastrophic if they failed. A lot of people would lose their job. They also said because of this negative press, 
uh, more freight is probably leaving the comp company, so it's making it actually worse. President Biden said that he is close to approving a controversial cluster munitions for Ukraine. CNN on Friday cites administrative sources saying he is strongly considering approval of the transfer. Officials told CNN that a final decision expected soon from the White House, and if approved, the weapons could be included in the new military aid package to Ukraine as soon as next month. Now, next month being in a couple days, uh, actually one day. Uh, these would undoubtedly have had significant battlefield impact, the U.S. official said. The White House would likely receive significant support from bipartisan lawmakers in Congress. Uh, in March, Republican letter to the president chastised the White House reluctant to provide Ukraine the right type and amount of long-range fires and maneuver cap capabilities to create. So these would be a cluster Munition, and for example, the MK-20 is one of these weapons on Ukraine's wish list, and it disperses 240 dart-like submunitions or bomblets after being deployed. The U.S. been producing and selling cluster bombs to its allies until a few years ago. Um, they say that we have about a million of these bombs in Pentagon stockpile. A lot of people say these actually violate... Uh, rules of law because uh, because of the munitions that went in there deployed. A problem with them is some of the bomblets do not go off and they stay uh, where they can then eventually go off by accident. So there's some of the news that you need to know. I hope you're planning and prepping and getting ready for whatever happens, be it conflict with Russia, conflict with China, uh, economic recession, or even a collapse in the dollar. So just keep Praying and planning and preparing. Thanks for watching.